Rise and shine, P.O. The time has come for a... P.O. Positive report. That team. Today's contribution is from Mildred, the senior authority on pets and thieves. It's a positive... Got some mail for you today. Oh, why, Miss W? Uh, yeah, thanks. Something on your mind? Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? You seem out of it. It's just... Angie came by with a movie box and a couple of movies to watch. The Love Bug and A Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, did she? I'm not surprised. And you're having trouble picking? Ugh, I don't. But if my parents catch me watching Elm Street, they'll brown me for a week. I wish they'd just take a chill pill and see that I'm basically an adult. I fix cars. Aw, oh, no, that's too bad, Lori. Maybe you can watch it at a friend's house instead. No, I'm homeschooled. There aren't many teenagers here, as you may have noticed. So I don't really have any friends to watch it with. So it's a love bug for me. Tell you what, take the love bug now and we'll watch the horror movie at my place. Would Sunday work for you? What? Really? Yes, it would. That'd be wicked, Miss W. Of course. I'm always in for a good fright. So, see you Sunday? Totally. Thanks so much. Deal. Have a nice day. Hello, sir. I reckon that's a parcel with my name on it. 
If your name is Jack Reynolds, indeed. Indeed I am. And I reckon you're the new postal worker. Indeed I am. Well, thank you much. New around here, I reckon. People call me JR. I'm a farmer and DJ. I'm Meredith. Nice to meet you. I think I've heard you on the radio. You did, eh? Well, it's what I like to do. I had some spare time and a room in the shed, so I figured, why not? About your playlist. It's really nice. Thanks, but I really need to add more songs. But I'm in the middle of a potato harvest. Don't have much time. Hey, listen, postal worker Meredith, I need to get back to work. Can you do me a favor and give this envelope to Frank? I'm afraid it would need a stamp first. Oh, well, I'm afraid I don't have them here. You know what? I'll make an exception for you. Thank you so much. Hi, Kay. Delivery for the diner. Hey, Meredith. Sure. Just, uh, put it on the counter, would you? Kay, about the other day... What about it? <sighs> I really put my foot in it. Maybe it wasn't the best time for that conversation. <sighs> Maybe not. Yeah. So... I talked to Maureen. Let me guess. You got a piece of Maureen's wisdom too, eh? Why doesn't that surprise me? That explains why she wanted me to take over today's shift, then. She told me about Uncle Stan. I'm so sorry. Thanks. It was a long time ago, but I appreciate it. It's not the same without him. I'm sorry I wasn't there. For you and Maureen. That's kind of you to say, Meredith. I mean, I didn't contact you about it at the time, but then again, I had kind of given up by then. I guess everyone has their own things to deal with. Even me. I get it. There's always a reason for things to go the way they do. <sighs> Thanks for understanding. Time marches on. What did Maureen always say about that again? One day you realize... It's, it's marching, marching across, across your across face! face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mo. Some things never change.
Didn't she steal that line from somewhere anyway? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Em. It was good to talk, I mean, you know. Yeah, it was. I have to get back to it, but see you around, maybe? I'm sure. See ya. Here's your mail. Here's your mail.
That's lighter than I thought. Here's the mail, ma'am. Ugh, one of those yellow parcels. Isn't yellow the color of fun and happiness? It's for that thing behind the door, a photography mini lab. They installed it last week and they want me to operate it. As if I don't have enough on my plate already. That's pretty nice, actually. I love photography. Some people think they can become professional photographers overnight. Well, photography can be just for fun, too, right? Look, if you want to take photographs, knock yourself out. They want me to practice with the mini lab before the service is officially offered. They sent me a practice kit with the camera and film. Really? I'd love to take pictures. The surroundings here are wonderful. Well, here you go, and good luck. Take some pictures and then return it to me. Have a nice day, ma'am. Now, Meredith and Robert. Welcome to Moe's. Table for two? Hi, Maureen. Yes, please. A quiet one if possible. We've got work to do. Is that what they're calling it now? Speaking of work, Robert, someone reckon they could fix the roof themselves and, uh, <clears throat> made it worse somehow. I mean, foot just went right through. No physical harm, thankfully. A roof, yes. I promise to take a look at it. Uh, let me check out the damage real quick. Be right back. Thanks, darling. Hm, sure is one of the good ones right there. He seems very nice, but I haven't actually talked to him longer than ten minutes. What's time got to do with anything? You know what you want when you see it, hon. Oh, Maureen, please. What do you take me for? For a human being, of course. Don't go telling me city life turned you into a robot now. I don't buy it for a second. Anyway, let me show you to my nicest table. I hear the sun hits your face in all the right places here. Okay, so what you're saying is, there's a couple of things we can do, but no chainsaws. Definitely no chainsaws, for the moment. It's just that the remaining options will take time, effort, and patience. Well, that's one out of three for me. Can I get you lovebirds? Anything else? Maureen, really. I could always decide not to fix your roof today, you know. Don't worry, Robert. I know Maureen. I'm sure she doesn't mean anything by it. <laughs> I could go for a glass of red wine, Maureen. Gotcha, hun. Robert? The same for me, please. Sure thing. Back in a jiff. Ashley! Did we get that wine order in last week? <laughs> they what? Glad we're finally done for today. But there's more to come. Do you think he'll manage? What do you think? To be honest, you probably need some extra help. Is that an offer? 
Yeah, sure. Okay, you two hard-working individuals, here you go. Thanks, Maureen. Cheers. So, how's life in P.O. so far? It's only been a week, but... So far, so good. Yeah, I've been here a bit longer. Time sure does fly. I'm sure you must have some good stories. Yeah, uh, look, Meredith, I'm sorry. I really better get started on fixing that roof. It's just, uh, well, it's quite a big job. While it's still light out and all, you know. So, thanks so much for your help. I mean, I really do appreciate it. Drive home safe. Uh, I'll see you around town. So, yeah, I'll see you. Everything okay over here? Yeah, I guess. I'm not sure. Good day. My name is Walter Morgan. I'm from the Postal Service. I'm calling with regards to compliance to policies and guidelines such as the use of Postal Service property, code of conduct, and so on. I will be in touch again soon. Meredith, it's Steve. Oh, hi Steve. Thanks so much for improving the text and sending it back to me. I'm confident this will improve our chances of securing a monster deal. You're welcome, Steve. A monster deal? It's a monster deal. The big retailer, big money, big prizes. A monster deal? That is so awesome! Big money, big prizes. Whew, I need to calm down, too. <laughs> well, yes. Calmness is needed. Eyes on the prize. The next steps are me going to meet up with them this week. Discuss terms. Eye of the tiger. Go get him, Steve. Thanks, Meredith. Speak soon. Hmm. Let's see what's on TV tonight. Previously on Bon Appetit. I have good news. Jean-Paul has agreed to become the chef of the downtown restaurant. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Rock and roll. There is only one problem. Jean-Paul is not a cook, but a car technician. <laughs> Good morning, Meredith. There's an envelope today with an incomplete address on it. It only says Mickey and June, Lake Campground, Providence Oaks. Do you think you can find that? Yeah, I think I know where that is. All right. Have a great day. Thanks. Oh, by the way, Frank, I wanted to ask you something. I will not babysit Mildred's cats. <laughs> no, it's about something else. What's in those envelopes for you? Oh, that's just for stamps. Saves them the hassle of driving up here. Hey, I gotta get back to work. Catch you later.